Hi everyone, we are at IDEF 2023 in Istanbul, Turkey and in this video I'm gonna try to cover the many uh, innovations in the naval field by uh, Turkish uh, defense electronics company Azalzan. They have a huge booth, uh, it's not even a booth, it's a hall uh, dedicated to Azalzan. Many many new systems uh, on display including many new naval ones, there's far too many to cover them all in a single video so I'm going to try to focus on the most interesting ones. First, we're taking a close look at some of the new anti-submarine uh, weapon systems as well as sonar systems uh, by Azarzan. This is the new uh, Dufas M. So this is a lightweight uh, towed array sonar, so active and passive. It is uh, specifically designed for uh, to be fitted on board the uh, USB and uh, unmanned platforms. The Dufas M is based on uh, the Dufas. So that's a uh, more uh, normal uh, towed array sonar, so that's the active array. That's the passive array, so this transmits and that's the receiver. Uh, it's fitted on larger uh, ships for anti-submarine warfare. It can be combined with the Zargana decoy launcher. If a torpedo is detected, the Zargana can automatically deploy a counter-torpedo countermeasure. Azelzan is also working on uh, the Azel buoy, so that's a sono buoy, uh, both active, uh, there are also some passive ones to be deployed by, from helicopter as well as maritime patrol aircraft, again for anti-submarine warfare to detect submarines. This is a display of the new, new, the new Ferza hull-mounted sonar, which will be fitted on board the uh, Istanbul class of uh, frigates, so hull-mounted sonar again for anti-submarine warfare. This is a new system as well, that's the dual torpedo launcher that will be fitted on the Istanbul class frigate of the Turkish Navy and it fires the Orca lightweight torpedo which is on display here. This Azarzan is collaborating with uh, Metexan for this one and uh, so it's lightweight torpedo but this is the training variant because as you can see it has a buoy that inflates uh, to bring the torpedo back to the surface during the exercise. Behind me is a technology demonstration model uh, showing Azalzan's uh, intention uh, to develop uh, many technologies for submarine top mast. So things such as uh, active sonar, optronic mast, communication mast, ESM mast, uh, radio communication, satellite communication, radar and snorkel. Last but not least for underwater technologies on the Azazan booth is the Doringos. It is a new UUV currently under development, both for civilian and uh, defense applications. It is modular, uh, you can switch the payloads, you can add sections for more endurance for example. Uh, for defense applications it could conduct uh, seabed mapping as well as uh, mine warfare. This is a display model of uh, the Barbaros upgrade program. So the Barbaros class are in-service uh, frigates, Mako 200, uh, in service with the Turkish Navy, and Azalzan is the prime contractor for the upgrade. So the model is showing uh, the new Gogdenis closing weapon system uh, as an addition, a number of uh, new sensor and uh, jammer jamming system, electronic warfare system, more weapon systems, so uh, from 8 uh, Harpoon anti-ship missiles to 16 Atmaja uh, anti-ship missiles. Uh, and in the back a new fire control uh, radar as well. And uh, this is uh, currently uh, an active program. New systems on the Azazan booth also include this uh, Goksor uh, closing weapon system, so it's a RAM replacement. The company is in competition against uh, Metexan uh, for a program of the Turkish Navy to replace the, the RAM and also fit uh, the, this new Turkish system on board uh, future uh, ships of the Turkish Navy. The Azerzan uh, system is fitted with four uh, fixed panels for ESA radar arrays, an electro-optic system and 12 cells for the Bozdogan uh, missile, so this is the DH variant, so this variant is for the RAM-like system, but this is actually based on an air-to-air -air missile, think of it as uh, something analog to the Sidewinder air-to-air uh, -air missile. 
another uh, new naval gun system uh, being showcased for the first time by uh, Azalzan is the Gawker D. So this is based on a land-based system. It's a 35 millimeter uh, gun system. And uh, I was told that it's, been, uh, it's being developed in its naval variant to be fitted on OPV and smaller vessels as a main gun fit. In this area, Hazelzan is showcasing many uh, unmanned surface uh, vessels, USVs, uh, and uh, since I don't know so much about them, uh, I request the help of uh, Typhoon here to learn more about uh, them and introduce each one of them. So the first one, Typhoon, Albatross S. Yes, this is Albatross S. S stands for Swarm. Hazelzan uh, used this for Swarm attacks. It's, it's a for technological development. Uh, it can be used for four USVs and eight USVs, and uh, it can have different payload options. Behind it, uh, the black one here, small scale model, is a new one, again, a Kamikaze uh, yes. USV, so that's the third one we see at the show, after yeah. the ones from uh, Metexan and RS, as well as Avelzan. Yeah. Another uh, Kamikaze drone. Yes. Uh, probably there must be a requirement in, in Turkey for such solution after what happened in uh, Ukraine and the successful use of by Ukraine of uh, USVs Kamikaze against Russia. Uh, we don't we don't have evidence for that, but uh, it's it's a new trend. It's a new development in naval warfare, and it's proven in the Russo-Ukrainian war. So we started to see more Kamikaze drones. Uh, developed by different uh, companies. This is a, a, another surprise in the IDEF, uh, a seven meter vessel and with two tons. Uh, we don't know the how, payload options, how much, uh, how, how much explosive it carries. I think the brochure said uh, 200 kilograms, which is similar to what uh, Haverzan told us for the payload. Yeah, two, it, it's, it's, it's enough to neutralize a middle-sized warship, I think. And this one is based on Albatross as well, that we just saw. Yes, yes, the, the form of the hull are similar. All right, Typhoon, so uh, this one uh, is already in the water. Uh, yeah. It was demonstrated, I believe, uh, during a NATO exercise uh, last year. Yes. Here it shows a configuration, uh, so with addition on the sides, uh, like stabilizer, so it looks like a trimaran, and it has torpedo launcher and sonar system. Yes, this is an uh, anti-submarine warfare version, and it, it has a towed air raid sonar and uh, four torpedoes, and uh, an automatic gun and the uh, forward sight, and it also has uh, anti-surface warfare uh, version it will uh, launch Kuzgun missiles developed by Tubitak Sage and it will have a huge payload capability. I uh, I, I couldn't confirm that, but it will carry more than uh, 40 missiles, 40 Kuzgun missiles, uh, which has a range around thir uh, 30 kilometers. Yeah. So 40 missiles, anti-ship missile to strike uh, targets at sea. Yes. That's a huge uh, capability and uh, unmatched uh, around the world, I believe. Yes, uh, Marlin is the largest uh, surface drone of the Turkish defense industry. Uh, last but not least, uh, Typhoon. This is uh, Mir. Uh, we covered it uh, on the website before. Yes. Uh, this acts as the command ship for some of the other UAVs uh, that they demonstrated as well during a demonstration recently. Yes, uh, it was it was in this swarm uh, that we mentioned Albatros as in the beginning, and it was uh, acted as the command ship, and it takes his its name uh, from that mission. Mir means commander in Turkish in in ancient Turkish, and this is the anti-submarine warfare variant of Mir, a different variant. You see uh, four uh, torpedo tubes for lightweight torpedoes and six uh, tubes for ASW rockets and it also has uh, a dipping sonar in the middle uh, probably it will be uh, uh, supplied by uh, Armelsan another Turkish company and you can see the sonoboys and at the aft part of the vessel so 
both uh, weapon system to, of course, uh, destroy the submarine, but also sensors to detect them. Of course, of course, it can uh, not only see, but also destroy capability uh, in uh, anti-submarine warfare. Thank you, Typhoon, for shedding light on the various uh, UAVs uh, here on the Azelton both. It's my pleasure. Thank you.